Yo, 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 yo. Here for another crazy ass reaction to Warren Kelly, man. Shouts out to my to, to the homie Warren Kelly, man. <sighs> some information he be having right, some information he be having wrong. But shouts out to that little young man, man. Uh, you feel me? But uh, you know, all he doing is reading the information from the the internet. You know, whatever the internet gives him, that's what he reads. That's how he go off of, you know, uh, his information. But shouts out to the dude. He's doing what he do. You know, he's doing what he do. You know, he's making money off of it. You feel me? So, uh, I give him big ups. But, uh, today, we're going to do a reaction to Warren Kelly. Pasadena Devil Lanes and versus... The squeaky lane against the bloods. Now, I'd have been on Pasadena and I'd have came across both of these games. People from both of these games. You feel me? And they're no joke. You know, like, these games are no joke, bro. I done fought niggas from both sides. On Crip. Ain't no joke. But, uh, on Crip, let's get into this on Dark Side. Let's get into this video. And, uh, like I said, become a Mean Mugging Media family member today. By pressing, it's free, y'all, to become a family member to Mean Mugging Media, y'all. Become a family member by pressing that subscribe button and then pressing the notification bell so when I bring out something new you'll be the first to get it and then run them likes up under the video and throw a comment out there let me know y'all let me know your opinion you feel me on giving you my opinion let me know your opinion okay like let's go let's run it up episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to cover two Pasadena Blood Gangs. The Pasadena Denver Lanes and the Squiggly Lane Gangsta Blood. The Denver Lanes started in the South Central over 40 years ago. They later branched off to cities like Pasadena and El Tadena and have been in those areas for decades as well. The Pasadena Denver Lanes, also known as PDL, are one of the bigger gangs in Pasadena and in the San Gabriel Valley. All of the Denver Lanes are clicked up under the same umbrella. So it's common to see them take on the same rivals, even though they're in different areas. The PDLs beef with hoods like the Durock Crips, the Pasadena Raymond Ave Crips, the El Tadena Block Crips, Hispanic gangs like the Villa Boys, and also the Squiggly Lane Gangsta Bloods. Squiggly Lane Gangsta Bloods are also from Pasadena. They was once clicked up with the PDLs, but broke apart and later became fierce rivals. The Squiggly Lanes also beef with Raymond Ave Crips and the Durock Crips just to name a few. With all that being said, let's get into some cases. August 1st, 2010. Eli and his girlfriend Alexis went to a liquor store around midnight. That's Alexis Lincoln stayed in the car store. and Eli went inside the store. Let me tell you, this is the Lincoln Liquor Store. That is the liquor store that you do not want to get caught in. You do not want to get caught in that liquor store. It's right there on Ventura in Pasadena. I'm telling you, bro, that liquor store is dangerous. Eli was from PDL. Inside the store, he got pressed by some squiggly lane gangsta bloods and got folded like a pretzel by one of the squiggly lanes named Trayvon. He got punched on and didn't even get to make his purchase. I know that was a waste of a trip. He tasted a punch and it wasn't even Hawaiian. Eli got out the store and drove him and Alexis away. While driving, Eli called his homie and told him about the incident and about his ass getting socked out. He plotted revenge and even went to his friend's house to pick up something. After that, him and Alexis went home and he stayed there the whole night. Just the next day, August 2nd, just after midnight, Eli pulled up in a green SUV. He drove slowly on the block that Trayvon and several other Squiggly Lanes lived on. It was a crowd of people outside at the time, including a few Squiggly Lane members. Eli pulled up and aired off the crowd. He only hit a man named Tremaine, though. Tremaine survived his injuries. Eli was evil as hell, though. 
They said bro drove off after the shooting and laughed at everybody he shot at like it was a damn comedy or something. Well, people picked Eli out as the shooter. Bro even did the shooting in his girlfriend's car. Eli's girlfriend Alexis was later picked up and questioned and she told the police everything she knew. I mean, she immediately cracked. Alexis told the police how Eli got his ass whooped by some rivals and how that whole night he was plotting. Damn, how he explaining it though, bro? Like, <laughs> oh shit. This nigga explained it like this is a damn joke, bro. Because that's what it was. Nigga, like, you go shoot at some niggas. You go shoot at some ops. <sighs> and, and, and on leaving, you fucking bust up laughing. Like, that's weird, bro. Revenge. And how the next day, he wasn't with her at night, even though they lived together. Eli was later picked up. But everybody who talked against him recanted their statements. Eli received 12 years for the shooting, though. September 5th, 2011. Eric's put up to a Circle K with his group. That included Anthony, Marcus, Eddie, and Jermaine. Eric's went inside the stove when he seen a Malibu pull up with two women and two men. The two men were Napoleon and Christopher. As he walked out the stove, the two men were sitting by a car. As Eric's is walking back to his car and his group, Napoleon and Christopher asked him, Where you from, blood? Eric trying to avoid the confrontation, ignored what they said, and walked to his car and his group. He got inside the car and said, let's get up out of here. Napoleon and Christopher pulled up in the Malibu and started to shoot at Ears and his group. Ears grabbed the strap from the car and started to fire back. Anthony was immediately shot. Ears tried to put him inside the car, but he couldn't, so him and his group drove away, leaving Anthony on the floor. Napoleon and Chris chased after Ears and his group. Once they couldn't catch up, they arrived back to the scene after Circle K to pick up the two women that they left. Police was already at the scene when Napoleon and Chris arrived. These dumbasses thought they could lie and get away with it, like it would be cameras or witnesses. Or it was smart to come right back to a crime they committed. They told the police Anthony, who was still laid out in the parking lot, was shot by four Mexican men. Chris was also shot in the arm, and he said four Mexican men shot him as well. Lie about the Mexican man doing the shooting was pure stupidity. Everything was captured on camera, and several witnesses came forth. Napoleon and Christopher were charged with this and several other robberies. Both received life for everything. On December 13th, 2011, Travell was visiting his girlfriend Gina at her apartment. He was from Squiggly Lane. The apartment was in PDL's turf. A PDL member named Anthony knocked at the door and asked Gina if she had a dude in her house. She said no and closed the door. Minutes later, Travell left the apartment and Gina heard gunshots. Anthony was later picked out as the shooter. After Jenner came forth and several other neighbors who seen the incident go down, Anthony got inside the interrogation room and started immediately ratting. He told the police he was a crash dummy, basically. He said an OG named Denver Ed told him to do the shooting, and that's what he did. Anthony was later sentenced to 15 years to life for the shooting. December 25th, 2012. Damien, his girlfriend Tracy, and his homie Jordan were driving through PDL's turf. They were from Squiggly Lane. They heard from a nearby laundromat, Get them blood! Then soon the car began to chase after them. They got to Wyoming Street where the car was aired out. Damon was shot in the eye and crashed the whip into a pole, but he survived. An innocent man who was walking on Wyoming was shot in the head and lost his life. A neighbor on the street had surveillance on their home, and the whole shooting was captured on tape. Damien even told the police who the shooters were. Two PDL members were later picked up. Their names were Larry and Jerron. Both of them received 25 to life. We'll conclude this episode if you haven't already. That's why it don't pay to game bang. It don't, bruh. And, uh, yeah, this concludes my reaction to Warren Kelly. You feel me? <laughs> don't be a game banger, kids. Lead us to the professional. On Crip. I'm out.